Right, what have we got today? We've got the little Astrolux A01 and the denomination is 219B, I think, but I think that's more related to the colour. So, just a small torch today, and I'm expecting it to be very similar to the TI3 by Throughnight. Um, I mean, essentially, they're both can be considered keyring uh, flashlights. So you're not going to get masses of uh, lumens out of them, but you're going to get enough. I mean, this one puts out um, over 100, so uh, on max anyway. So we'll have a look. Uh, no, I think it's... Uh, they will seal these things, won't they? Okay, let's get in here. Let me in. Right, we're in. So, Astrolux, let's see what we've got. Okay, well, that's handy. A user manual, because a lot of these, especially from China, a lot of these torches, you just got to try and work it out for yourself. But what we've got here, so Astrolux user manual. Now, it says 120 lumens there, but I'm pretty sure if you look up more stats on this, it's 102 lumens, because I know that's... 120. Although if you get the brand new one, it seems to have gone up to 130. So it depends. It seems to depend which website you go on. But we'll we'll stick with 102. I would I would say it's more likely to be orange peel refractor. Yeah, yeah. Triple A battery. Oh, that's interesting. IPX8. So rather than go through that, I'll just talk you through because I probably know it all off the top of my head anyway. So what's this? All right. So if you're hungry, remember. Do not eat. Okay, what else we got here? What's this? Now that looks to me like spare o rings. And I'll explain what an o ring is when I look at the torch or flashlight, if you wish to call it that. So ugh, I kind of get in. Anyway, you can see the spare the ring there. And then there's the split ring, which you can use to, yeah, so it comes with a split ring. So the split ring will go through here, you can put on your key ring, and the spare O-ring will be for, now where you get a joint, you have an O-ring, that's the rubber O-ring there, and that prevents water getting into the battery compartment so you can see it there just this black ring so at least you get a spare one because sometimes they get chewed up it's just one of those things that happens over time and they do perish so it looks okay not a bad piece quite light pretty light now it feels bigger in the hand than the through night so i'm just going to check that where's the through night if i can find it there it is Ah, it seems to take up more space. You can see, look. So it's a bigger unit. But you could argue that the reflector is slightly bigger, which isn't a bad thing. You get more spread. They look very similar. It feels nice. The surface is nice. The only knurling um, that you get on this particular one is... For the activation so let's get a battery in there and have a shot now i've got a fresh end loop straight out the charger so end loop triple a so this is a triple a torch um i just happen to prefer end loops so i'll stick that in now it looks like it works in a similar manner to the through night so there's no buttons so it's a screw mechanism so you turn until obviously there's a circuit and there so that'll be low. Now low runs off the top of my head, I think it's 0 0.14 lumens. So yeah, it's sub-lumen there. The benefit of that is you probably think, well, why do you want a torch with a rubbish lumen? Well, the whole point is it lasts longer. So the run time should be, now they're quoting 100 hours. You probably get about 95 if you're lucky. Um, you know, when they quote these figures, they're laboratory tested. So you're not necessarily going to get that. And, that, and that's at an ideal temperature. So if you live in the frozen wastes of Canada, it's, you're going to get a different runtime. But we'll go from the quotes that they give. So they're saying 100 hours, sub-lumen. Um, but that, that's not bad. You can do little basics and map reading. And then the next setting should be medium. There you go. So you can see that's much lighter. That's not, that's quite nice actually, not a bad spread, no heat there yet. So 
as you can see, pretty light. Medium runs at uh, seven lumens, and at seven lumens they're quoting that you'll get 7.2 hours, what I would suggest you'll probably get less than that. Well, that's still not bad. I mean, you know, even if you hang that in a, uh, in a camp somewhere, that's not bad. And then high is much better, so that's pretty bright. Now they're saying 102, but in that little manual it says 120. I'm not sure, so I'm going to compare that. So that's allegedly running at 102. Now I know this goes over 100, so... Let's get this on full. Yeah. So... I mean, ignore the colour difference. That This one on the left is cool white, whereas this is a more neutral tone. So ignore that, but... Do you know what? I would say I quite I like the spread on this. You see how even at a similar height, the spread's bigger on this ever so slightly. Okay, maybe it's 102 to 120. Who might I to argue? But that's not bad. Now I think this also has a secret mode like the TI3. So I think you go through the modes and through them again to get a strobe. So, hey, so that's I mean, a lot of these manufacturers call it a tactical strobe, but unless you can get to it immediately, how tactical is it? Because in an emergency, you need it straight away, but that's not a bad strobe. I quite like that. It's quite fast. Um, now, I forgot to quote the run times on high. So on high, you're only going to get half an hour, but it pumps out over 100. And gen generally, with a strobe, you just half that because it just goes at high, but it's on and off half the time. So you should get about an hour. So that's not bad. Nice little torch. Um, so let's have a size comparison. Let's check there's nothing else in this box. No, that's all you get. And if anyone's interested, there's the markings. Uh, 219B. And Astrolux. Uh, and it's in grey. So... That's nice. Not a bad colour. I generally go for black, but you know what? That's pretty nice looking. I think that's a nice piece. Like I say, bigger than the TI. But we'll just put them together. So as you can see, uh, there's a bit of a size difference there, but they're still tiny in comparison to something like the BLF uh, the ES6. So, I mean, you're getting a lot of light. I mean, obviously that's going to go up to a thousand, but when you only need a key ring light, you don't really need a thousand lumens. And there's the uh, Thorfire. Uh, oh, I'll never forget, remember this name. VG15S, I think that's the second edition. And if I've got it, there's the TN4A through night. So, you know, pretty decent piece. Um, let's give this a rating, and then we can go out and have a shot of it. Right, move this out of the way so we can talk to this. Get back to basics here. I'm going to compare it to this. Okay, this one is cheaper, but I get a feeling this might last longer. But they're both made out of aluminium. However, here's the thing I like about this it's rated IPX8. So you'll often hear me saying IPX6, IPX8, and things like that. IPX6 generally means that it's water resistant um, in most conditions. IPX8 means drop it in water, no problem. You can do that with this, um, but it just shows that this is up to a high standard. Um, so I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, it's anodized aluminium, AAA, orange peel reflector. I should have shown you that. So you see the texture on the silver bowl there. It's orange peel, so you get something of a spread from that rather than just a thrower where it projects the light. And you can see the LED, and I'm going to impress you here by rattling off the name of the LED. <gasps> I'll take a deep breath. It's the Nicaea, or Nicaea, however you want to pronounce it, NVSW219C-R9050, I think. If I've got that wrong, I do apologise, but uh, it's a little bit gobbledygook. 
and it doesn't really mean a lot. We'll just concentrate on lumens. So we'll go through the times again. You get 100 hours on low, medium 7.2, high half an hour, but they will differ on the battery and they'll also differ on temperature. So nice little piece. So let, that's enough messing about. Let's get out and have a shot.